So Nano Banana has just been released by Google and with it you can create some incredible videos just like this while keeping the original surroundings by combining it with Runway and Eleven Labs. Here's how. So Nano Banana is a new AI image model that allows you to edit images while keeping other elements of the image intact. And you can be quite specific. For example, in this picture, I can make myself be wearing an astronaut suit while my face, my hands, and the surrounding environment stays almost identical to the original. And thanks to this, we'll be using some other AI tools to then turn this Nano Banana image into a video with sound effects and music thanks to Runway and Eleven Labs. So the very first thing we're going to do in Premiere Pro is we're going to select the very first frame of the video that we want to edit. So for example, this is the intro video for this video. And now I want to go ahead and export just the first frame. And I can do so by clicking on the camera icon right here and export the frame to my downloads folder. And now the reason we're choosing a frame is because Nano Banana is an image editor. And so we're first going to edit the image and replace the elements within that that we want. And then we're gonna upload it to Runway. And we're going to use the original intro video as the driver video with the new Nano Banana image that we've edited. And after that, we'll then add some sound effects and music with Eleven Labs to bring the videos to life. Now to edit that first frame with Nano Banana, we're gonna go ahead and go to FreePick, which provides a bunch of different AI models. And we're simply gonna click on Generate Image. And here we want to make sure that the model we select is Google Nano Banana. If you can't find it, you just click on the model, go to Google, and it should have the new tag, Google Nano Banana. Now we've selected it, what we want to do is add the image reference, which should be the first frame that we've just exported. So I go ahead and upload, and now I've got the image reference uploaded, and this is the image that we're going to edit. Before we type our prompt, you just want to make sure that we have the 16 by nine aspect ratio selected. You'll notice there's a quick message saying that it's still in beta and it may not always respect the aspect ratio, but so far I haven't had any issues with it. And now we get to the fun part, which is writing our prompt and describing the images that we want to see. The first prompt I'm writing is put me in an astronaut suit and then I click generate. And now the cool thing with Nano Banana is that it generates very, very fast, on average between five to 15 seconds. And as you can see, I'm now in a spacesuit, which is incredibly cool. And the surroundings around me are intact. And so what I would like to do now is just simply go ahead and download this image. But I want a second version as well. And this time, instead of changing my suit, I'm gonna change the entire surroundings while keeping me intact. And so I can type out, put me on a volcano. And again, click generate. I'm literally on a volcano with a lava pool in the background, which is awesome. So I'm gonna go ahead and download this image as well. And on screen right now, I'm gonna put a bunch of different prompts that we use to modify this image just to give you a little bit of inspiration. And once we have all the assets that we've made with Nano Banana, we're gonna go ahead and go to Runway. In Runway, the first thing we want to do is click on Act 2, because this will allow us to upload the image that we've just created with Nano Banana, but also add the driving performance, which will be the original intro video that we pulled the first frame from. So first, I'm just gonna click Select Asset and select the intro video that we want to use as the driving performance. And then we can go ahead and choose our character. So we select Asset, click on Upload, and we're just gonna upload the first one, which is me in an astronaut suit. And now we can click generate. But before we do, we just want to make sure that the facial expressiveness is maybe on three or four. Below that will look too weird and above that might look a little bit too intense. So try generating and adjust it based on your results. But I'm gonna leave it on three and we just wanna make sure that we have gestures toggled on and I'm simply gonna click generate character. And while that's generating and it's in the queue, I'm gonna go ahead and delete this character and upload the volcano character. And again, leave it on the same settings and also click generate. And so now I have my two videos that have been generated within the new environment. So let's take a look. So Nano Banana has just been released by Google and with it, you can create some incredible videos just like this while keeping the- As you can see, it respects the exact performance from the original video, but I'm wearing the astronaut suit. And then we have the second one down here. Nano Banana has just been released by Google and with it, you can create some incredible videos just like this while keeping the original surroundings. And as you can see here, this looks exactly like me, except it's the background that's different. But one thing that was missing is that these videos feel quite empty because when you're changing the environment or when you're changing uh, the person, or even if you're making an entirely new character based on your performance using Nano Banana and Runway, you want to change the voice or add some background noise or add some sound effects. And so we're gonna go ahead and do that. But what we want to do for better results is you just want to click upscale to 4K on both of these videos. And while we wait in 11 labs, I'm gonna go ahead and create some of the sound effects I like. And so I can click on sound effects here and simply type out the noise from within my video that I can imagine, right? So I'm standing on an active volcano. So let's go ahead and download a few. I'm just downloading a couple. And so now back 
back in Premiere Pro, I'm dragging in both of the 4K videos that we generated with Nano Banana and then ran through Runway. And as you can see, if I overlay them, I make sure to delete the secondary audio. So Nano Banana has just been released by Google and with it, you can create some incredible... I could then stop this one right here. So Nano Banana has just been released by Google and with it, you can create some incredible videos. And then I go ahead and I bring in the sound effects. So from the lava pool, I thought this, these two were quite good. Might want to reduce the decibels a little bit. So Nano Banana has just been released by Google and with it you can create some incredible videos just like this while keeping... For this second video, I'm inside an astronaut helmet or if I was in space, I would want an astronaut sounding voice or if this was an entirely new character, I would also want a brand new voice, but I want it to match the exact cadence of my video. And so I'm going to set the in point and out point and this time I'm going to render only the audio track from Premiere Pro. And then I want to go back to 11 Labs and here I want to use Voice Changer. But before we do that, I want to create the voice for my character or my astronaut or whatever voice I like. So I'm going to click on Voices, click on Create or Clone a Voice, select Voice Design, and I'm going to describe a voice that's inside a helmet suit. So astronaut voice helmet on high studio quality sounds like a fishbowl and now i'm going to auto generate some text to preview based on that prompt and then we're just going to generate the voice and see what we get so now if i preview the voice all right houston we're making good progress here the solar array deployment went i quite like this one because it sounds like i'm talking into the microphone of the astronaut helmet and so i'm just going to select this voice and i'm going to name it astronaut select the english language and then click save voice and now that i've created the voice that i need with the 11 labs voice design i can go to voice changer and we're going to upload the audio file that we just exported from premiere and then we are going to select the voice that we've just made so i'm going to type in astronaut this is the voice that I've just made. As you can see, it had the exact description. And now I click generate speech and let's see what happens. Videos just like this while keeping your original surroundings by combining it with Runway and 11 Labs. As you can see, I have my new character's voice. I wanna make sure that I mute the original. And now let's have a look. Videos just like this while keeping your original surroundings by combining it with Runway and 11 Labs. As you can see, it sounds a lot more realistic. And then I could go ahead and generate some background city noise. Videos just like this while keeping your original surroundings by combining it with Runway and 11 Labs. That's how to create some incredible videos with Google's new AI model, Nano Banana, with Runway and 11 Labs. If you have any questions, let us know in the comment section down below. And if you enjoyed this video and you want to see more, please hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.